Our Bible reading for today is a key verse taken from 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Good morning, Paul, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It's February 6th, February 18th ngayon, and it's the month of love. So, so gentlemen, nagbigay na ba lahat ng bulaklak? Ladies, nakatanggap na ba ng chocolates? Yes, love, sabi ni Pastor. So, ito pong uh, celebration natin ng February ay celebration of the month of love. Famously known as the Valentine's Day or St. Valentine. So, specific po yan every 14th day of January. February? Ay, February. <laughs> Last Sunday po, when upon hearing the team True Love, which is assigned to me by our beloved pastor to have this sermon, I immediately thought of the the, the, the personal development subject which I am teaching for the senior high that is about love. So before anything else, we pray a short prayer for Father God, we thank you for gathering us all here today. We acknowledge your presence. We invite the Holy Spirit to be with us to let us have an open mind, soul, and heart to let into our lives the teaching of your scriptures. We ask this in the name of the Lord our Savior. Amen. Okay, folks. So, aside from the Bible passage na binasa ko kanina, dear brothers and sisters, ano ba kasi ang love? What is love para sa inyo, mga kapatid? Ano ang pag-ibig? <laughs> Para teenager lang. Love is ayat to make it kuya. Oh, love is blind. Ano pa? So, disclaimer pa. This is, uh, I'm sharing it of the best of, what is of the best of my knowledge. So, parang today, you are my student regardless of your ages. Kasi po ako ang teacher na today. So, before Prior to this po, I asked few persons about their own meaning of love. And they remarked, Bakit? Bakit tinatanong? Sabi? Some also reacted, Pang lovers lang daw ito. Kasi may tinanong akong single. Sabi niya, Bakit mo ko tinatanong? Ha, ha, ha. Sabi na. <laughs> so, I, I, like, I, like, I would just like to know. Sabi ko. Sabi ko naman po. So, most common and known answers ay, yung aside from the Bible definition kanina sa 1st of Corinthians, ay, ay alam kong narinig na to, love is God. O kaya, God is love. Diba? Bakit daw? Because that comprises all. Yun na yung pinakasamari. Buod na yun. Uh, it's never changing. May sumagot din, love is sacrifice. Okay? And effort. Ayaw mga nag-e-effort na maglaan ng time para sa mga tao mahal nila. Love, according to the dictionary, is an intense feeling okay po? or emotion, a deep affection for someone. For example, pag nagsabi niya ng I love you, kailan kaya mas na nagsabi ng I love you sa mahal niyo? Kailan? I love you, husband. I love you, anak. I love you, pastor. I love you, dear friend. So, pag sinabi sa inyo, I love you, it means that somebody is into you. I want to 
be with you always. I love everything about you. Ang nagsabi na ba namin niya sa inyo? I love everything you are as a person. Then that is the definition of love where there is an intense feeling. Okay po, ay na-express nila yan by saying I love you. Another definition is love is a great interest and pleasure about something. Love din naman yung pagsasabi na I love this job. I love being a teacher. I love singing praises to the Lord. Diba? Mga ganon. So, yung halimbawa na yan ay yung love for an interest to do or to a something. Hindi lang po sa tao. So, ayan. Alam na po natin kung ano ang pag-ibig. To the young at heart, this is, eto yung napansin ko lang po abi bilang isang guro. Sa mga kabataan, ito talaga yung gustong-gusto nilang pag-usapan. Tama ba? Teenagers. Pero hindi lang din, pati naman sa mga adults yan. As long as you are in love. Oo. Eh kaya nga kayo piling ba basta ng novels, pocketbook, kung ano-ano pang mga movie na pinapanood ninyo basta about love. Diba? So, mga kaibigan, people have different meaning of love. Yung response nila sa akin, according to their personal experiences. But, are you aware na marami din palang uri ng love? There are kinds of love, dear brothers and sisters. So, sino pa lang makaalam? Alam mo, alam ito, alam na mga kabataan ito, mamaya mararami natin. So, alam niyo po ba na love appeared between 300 to 500 times in the Bible. And most of the well-known na kinds of love are these four. Meron tayong number one, storage. O yung tinatawag na affection. It is the love between family members. Tinatawag din ito familial love. This is the type of love or care that exists between family members, friends, companions. Ito ay longer lasting, it goes beyond an initial infatuation or attraction. But, it is built on familiarity between people and emphasis on storage is on devotion and intimacy that develops over time. Ang example po nito, kapag mamahal mo sa iyong mga kapatid, sa iyong asawa, at doon sa very close friends mo. Ito po ay nasa Ten Commandments din, Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land of the Lord your God is giving you. That is in Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Isa pa po sa Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. Okay po? Pangalawa, the kind of love is filia or filio. Ito po yung friendship. The love between friends. Okay? Describe mo dito yung relationship between two people with generous warmth for one another. So in a broader sense, this applies also sa churches. Yung mga ka-membro natin. It's called filia love. Pareho po ng beliefs, values and interest shared within each other. So, dito po, kay Romans chapter 10, 12, verse 10, sabi niya, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. Uh, isa pa, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1, keep on loving one another as brothers and teachers. So, that is filia love. Pangatlo, the kind of love is called eros. O kaya ito yung common sa mga spouses. Eros is passion or romance between spouses. Ito ay kind of affection meant to describe a healthy, sensual love between husbands and wives. So may physical attraction, uh, it plays a big role, part of it. And this kind of love, God gave us to have a desire and my expression of binding sa mga mag-asawa. Kaya nga sabi sa 
sa Song of, so Song of Solomon, in chapter 6, verse 3, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. So, yan ang sinasabi ng scripture. Kaya naman mag-asawa ka, yung katawan mo, or yung sarili mo, ay hindi na lang iyo, kundi parte na rin ng pag-aay ng iyong asawa. Sabi din sa 1 Corinthians, verse 6, chapter 8 to 20, ito yung pagiging uh, fidelity. Free from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually, sins against their own body. Pati sa sarili mo, nagkakasala ka. Do you not know that your body are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Kaya hindi mo pag-aari ang pasingyan ka. Pasingyan ka, pag-aari yan ng Diyos. Hindi mo kailangan, hindi mo magagawa, gusto ko lang. May asawa ka naman, part of the honor of yourself is your husband or your wife. And the last one, the fourth kind of love is so-called agape. Alam ko, alam niya yan, mga kabataan. Kaya ko kayo tinatanong kanina, pero wala yan na kaalala. Agape is unconditional love. It is the love of God. It is also termed as charity. Okay? Ito po yung most talked about love of all the kinds. Mag-apat na ito. Eh kasi ito yung it is the highest level of love. It is most complete form of affection. Parang walang basis. Okay? Love mo si God, you love your neighbor. Love mo si God, you love your Tawagin mo sila, wag kayo sa labas. Lahat mo si God, you love also your enemy, even your enemy. Kasi, dito sa agape, strong ito, selfless, and sacrificial. Pagkamartil po ito, mga kaibigan. So, during his earthly history to Jesus, ito yung pinakita niyang type of love. So, the early church is familiarized to two separate people. Activities. Ito yung nagawa natin sa church, which is the Eucharist. Yung pagtanggap ng communion. Ito yung agape love. So, uh, whether you are friends or enemies, yung love mo, that is described as agape. Sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself, which is found in Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 39. Isa pa po, sabi dito sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 46, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Pero ang sabi ni Jesus, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your father, in heaven. Okay, may apat na. Sana matandaan nyo. So, there are other kinds of love pa po. According to the subject I'm teaching, uh, mayroon tinatawag na companionate love. Commitment to start to stay together. Isa pa, mayroon din tinatawag na empty love. Commitment based on sexual fervor. So, yung mga fans, Maging stay lang dahil may need or desire. Consummate love. Shared affection and commitment for many years. And then, factual love naman is commitment. Ay, mali yan ako. Empty love, commitment without intimacy or passion. Factual love, commitment based on sexual fervor. And consummate love, shared affection and commitment for many years. So, madaling may pilihan, hindi ko na po i-explain. So, pero we're able to classify kung anong klase of love ang meron kayo ngayon sa inyong mga buhay, your brothers and sisters. Yung agad ba, present? Four kinds of love? Agape? Sipia? Scorch? And 
familiar affection or uh, unconditional love. Eros! Siguro yung mga single, wala yung tatpan ang to, yung eros. Okay. Pero may I ask, nakarinig na po ba kayo ng greatest love story of all time? May alam ba kayo ng mga couples or spouses na tag as the greatest love of all time? Siyempre, nung mag-aaral pa tayo, may hirap tayo mga babasa sa stories, love stories. Familiar ba sa inyo si Romeo and Juliet? Yes, tragic and it's not a. Eh, how about Cleopatra and Mark Anthony? Oh. Egyptian mga to. Mahala kayo ah, sa inyong nila. How about Jose Rizal and Leonor Rivera? Oh, Filipino version. Maraming love interest si Jose Rizal, pero ang latest love niya ay Filipino rin si Leonor Rivera. Yung parang kahit saan siya magpunta, may na-attract sa kanyang lady. Di ba? Oo. So, yan po ang ilan sa mga greatest love of all time. If I may share you lang, kasi relative to this, marami rin pong love stories according to the Bible. Sa mga nagbabasa ng Bible, alam na alam ito. Pastor. So, nangunguna si Abraham and Isaac. Lalo niyo sila? Yes, mag-ama po yan. So, ang love na kanila na-illustrate according to the Bible is that sacrificial love. O kaya, si Abraham, the love for God. Sa sobrang pag-ibig niya kay God as the Father, kaya niya i-sacrifice yung anak niya kasi hiniling sa kanya as a sacrifice. And then, si God did. The love, na-test niya yung God, yung love ni Abraham sa kanya. Kaya, hinihag back niya rin. And that provides siya kaagad ng alternative. Diba? So, yan. Sabi nga dyan, love comes at a great cost. To truly love one another, we must be willing to give our life away to them. This was pictured with Abraham and Isaac, but was personified in Jesus' death upon the cross. Even a life can be sacrificed just to prove and show that you are in love with God or the person. And next, si Jacob and Raquel. Kilala niya sila? The story of Jacob. Sa iba kasi Rachel yan, pero ang Tagalog version po ng Rachel ay Raquel. So, ganun siguro ang pronunciation. In Genesis chapter 29, verse 20, sabi niya, Jacob spent seven years Of for Rachel, he only felt that it was like a few days because of his love for her. Imagine si Jacob in love kay Rachel. Isha yung bunso anak ni Laban. Si Laban ay uncle niya pa, kapatid ng nanay niya si Rebecca. Mayon, noong gusto niya nag-express siya ng sabi niya, gusto ko po mapangasawa si Raquel. Pero ito si Laban bunso. Ang ini-pacific niya o pinakasal niya ay yung panganay niya. Kasi pra, ah, kasi po, buti ko lang sa din class. <laughs> kasi po, tradisyon na na ano, ng nila noon na mauna din ang mga panganay. Hindi rin dapat na nauunusan o nauuna yung sumunod sa kanila. Kaya muna na ipaasawa ay si ah, ano nga naman ito? Leia. Si Leia, yung ate ni Raquel. So, yung pagsilbi ni Jacob ng 7 years, umabot ng 14 years. Kasi another 7 years for Raquel. Iba din ang paghihintay niya. Para lang mapangasawa yung love of his life. So, yan ang story nilang dalawa. Kasi, ganyan niya kamahal si Raquel. Next story, I see Ruth and Naomi. Kilala niyo po sila. O, yung mga tagal na nag-aaral ng Bible. Si Ruth and Naomi ay mag daughters in law and mother in law. Namatay yung asawa ni Naomi at itong si Ruth sabi niya, maaari na kayo umuwi sa pinanggalingan ninyo. Parang gano'n, inalaw niya sila. But, dalawa yan eh. Dalawa ang, ang 
daughter in law si Orpa yung isa. Si Orpa umuwi. Pero si Naomi, she chose to stay with her mother-in-law. So, yan ang kanilang love story. Okay po? Next story! David and Jonathan. Si David and Jonathan, alam ko po, kilala ko lang dati si David, yung pumatay kay Goliath. Pero si Jonathan, First time ko lang kag-alinong mga. Biblical na lang ang name niya, Jonathan. Si Jonathan ay anak ng isang hari. The, the king at the their time hated David. Alam ni Jonathan na siya dapat ang sumunod na hari. Kasi nga, uh, parang maging legacy ng sanday niya para sa kanya. But, because he is already also aware na calling yun ni David or David kasi nga he was able to kill Goliath by the grace of God ibinigay niya yung privilege and naging friend niya pa naging best of friends sila and uh, tinulungan niya pa para siya yung maging next in line na maging hari next to his father ganyan sila naging magkaibigan Okay? Mag-process po yung love story nila. Sunod! By biblical love story, syempre, alam natin si Mary and Joseph. It is described as a trusting love. Can you imagine? Yung babae na hindi mo pa naman ginalaw ay buntis na. Pero ikaw ang tatayong tatay. So, mayroon siya ng fear, pero na-overcome niya na trust in love. So, alam na natin ang kwento. It's an epic story of the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior of humanity. Okay? Next story, the prodigal son. Hindi ko binanggit yung Bible characters, pero mayroong anak, isang anak at isang ama na lubos ang pag-ibig ng tatay sa anak. Kaya kahit buhay pa siya, hiniling ang mana ay binigay na niya ka agad. Pero nang mauhus na niya yun at naisip niyang bumalik, tinanggap pa rin siya. So that is one also of the greatest love story in the Bible. Okay, alam na rin natin yan. Sunod, the good Samaritan. A Bible lesson on love about neighbors. Sino nagmamahal ng kapitbahay dito? Anes, to goodness. Kasi <coughs> pati ko pa kayo kayo lang ba si Masida? Yung bakit lang ito ay hindi yung kira-kira. Neighbor in love. Pero ito pa sa po ito. Tulong na walang katulad. Hindi pa nga nang kaano-ano eh. Nadaanan niya lang. Diba? Nadisgrasya. Nabukbok. Between death and flight. Uh, urgent. Napaka-emergency yun. Wala, na, may una nang dumaan, hindi tumulong. Pero yung pagdating sa kanya, tinulungan niya po. So, alam na rin natin yan. Very familiar to us. Which makes him a good Samaritan. Ito yung uh, sabi sa Luke chapter 10 verse 36 to 37. Which of these three do you think was the neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law required replied, the one who had mercy on him, Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Mahirap tularan, pero yun po ang turo sa atin ng Panginoon. So, dito, yung love is not theoretical. Something only to be pondered or written about. Hindi lang basta sinulat, hindi lang po basta kinwento. Pero ito ay love in action. Ito yung sinasabing love in action. It rushes to those who need, swoops them up, and bring them life. So sana magkaroon tayo ng gano'ng sensitivity kapag may nangangailangan. It urges us such a sense of urgency. Next, last but not the least, is the sacrificial love. The, the crucifixion. Ito po yung pagkakatako ni Cruz sa Cross. The, the greatest love story in the Bible. This Bible story focuses on the greatest act 
of love, the world will ever know the crucifixion of Jesus as recorded in Matthew chapter 26. Actually po, ilang chapter ang nagwento kay Matthew chapter 26, ilang bukas ka sana kay Mark chapter 14, and then naulit pa kay Luke chapter 22, binanggit din ni John chapter 18, that Jesus, after being flogged, mocked, and forced to wear a crown of thorns, gave his life on a Roman cross. But Jesus did this willingly. He died to pay for the sins of all mankind. So, ang key verse dito, John 3.16. Memorize niya pa? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So, in application, love or true love sacrifices. Or as, or as Jesus says in John 15, chapter 13, Greater love has no one that this lay, to lay down one's life for one's friends. May we all be willing to put the lives of others before our own. Ganun ba tayo? So, si, napakarami, nang na, nabusog ba tayo sa kweto? Sana may natandaan ko kayo. So, the perfect verse to sum it up yung mga Bible love stories ko ay yung John 3.16. But, ngayon po kasi ay post-Valentine celebration natin. Kaya, in-insert ko rin yung binasa ko kanina na the definition of Bible of love is in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Famous words ko ito ng love, lalo na sa mga kinakasal. Diba? Sabi niya, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Okay? Nakarali ko rin sa iba. Tinanong ko si Daniel, what is love? Tako, mapasensya. Sabi niya. Si William, ewan. Sabi niya. Sila kayo naman, love-making daw. <laughs> Pangadok talaga. Okay po? It does not boast. Hindi siya mayabang. It does not proud. Hindi rin po proud. Or parang nagmamataas. It does not dishonor others. Wala kang binababang tao. It does not self-seeking. Hindi puro pansarili lang. It does not easily anger. Okay, pag ganit ka, kailangan mong mag-post talaga. Kasi kung hindi, lahat mag-perverse. Pati masasamang salita, masasabi mo. It keeps no record of wrongs kahit ilang beses na mistake, ilang beses na pagkakamali, ilang beses kang na traidor, ilang beses kang na na cheat. So, wala kang i-erase mo yun kung love mo talaga yung isang tao. Love does not delight in evil. Hindi siya matutuwa kung may nangyayari yung masama. But rejoices with the truth. Kahit na masakla, kahit na masakit na katotohanan, tinatanggap, uh, Magpasalama ay sarama. Ito pala ang katotohanan. Kahit na hindi acceptable or favorable. It always protects. Always trust. Laging may uh, hope. Laging may pagkitiwala. Uh, always perseveres. Love never fails. So kung ano man ang pinagdadaanan natin ngayon mga kapatid, Ah, pwede love confers in all. So, maswerte kayo kung nandyan pa rin sa tabi ninyo ang mga nagmamahal sa inyo. Yung question ko kanina, kailan nyo silang nasabihan ng I love you. I love you mama, I love you papa, I love you uh, husband, I love you wife, I love you pastor, I love you friend, I love you classmate, I love you teacher, I love you mother, you know, lahat ng love mo sa dina ng mga this depiction portrays love as selfless, sacrificial, and enduring. So in application, if you have wondered or hindi mo pa alam what a true love is, then the Bible, the first Corinthians chapter 13, is a must read. Basahin mo, nandun ko lahat, ah, at kasagutan sa tanong ko, ano nga ba ang tunay na pag-ibig. Interestingly, in verses chapter 4 to 8, if you replace the word love with Jesus Christ, you find a 
compelling description of our <coughs> Savior. Subukan mo ninyo, i-alternate mo yung love, ilagay mo yung name ni Jesus Christ. Jesus is patient. Jesus is kind. Jesus does not envy. Jesus does not boast. He is not proud. Jesus does not dishonor others. Jesus is not self-seeking. Jesus does not easily get anger. Jesus does not record wrongdoings. Jesus does not, does not delight in evil. Jesus delights in truth. Jesus always protects, always hopes, always perseveres in us. Kasi kahit na, kahit na makasalanan ka, kahit na ano pa ang katao mo, Jesus always loves us. Jesus always loves you. So the challenge for us, mga kapatid, dear brothers and sisters, it does not end here. Alam mo na yung kind of love, alam mo na what love is, alam mo na may mga love stories in the Bible, hindi pa tapos. Okay? Whether you have found your true love or still are seeking for it, it must be accompanied with regular prayer. Prayer and Bible reading. Talk to God about it. Pray for your partners, your wives, your children, your your uh, husbands. Pray about your your uh, parents. Pray to those whom you love, the people. Uh, um, the love you have found in each other will be protected by them. Continue to grow in Christ. Sa single naman natin ng mga brothers and sisters, why not pray for your future partner? Believe it or not, I pray for my husband. Bago ko po siya nagsinala na panaginipan ko yung itsura niya, pero not his entire face. Bago rin po ko naman na pinagdasal ko yung magiging itsura ni Daniel at William. Na sana ay good looking sila, healthy and all. Bago po ko nalipat sa DepEd, pinagpray ko rin po yung mga magiging working environment ko. At ito po yung mga kapanindig balanin ko. Upon meeting my boss in person, nakita ko na siya sa panaginip. Yung mukha niya, sino kaya itong nagbabalik at nagsalita na ito. Pagdating ko doon sa old school, siya pala yung assistant principal. Ay, nakita ko na siya. Mga ganon. So, God is communicating with us through panaginip din sometimes. Gawa ko lang po sa inyo, pero sa akin, yes. May mga warning at all. Yan. So, take care, brothers and sisters, pray for your future partner. That soon to be found, your true love is God-given. At saka, sila na talaga yung para sa iyo. So, all of us here, stay in love with your family. Love. Obey. Love. Obey. And most of all, our love, uh, obey, love, and and trust our loving God, the Father, Yahweh, from all love comes from. Praise be to God. Amen.